In this lesson, I am going to talk about rational equations. What is a rational equation? A rational equation is an equation that contains at least one rational expression where the variable appears in at least one of the denominators. For example, this is a rational equation. You have at least one variable appearing in the denominator. How do we solve rational equations? Let me illustrate the steps with this example. The first step is to factor all the denominators in the equation and find the LCD. So let's do that. You can no longer factor x plus 1 and x minus 1. So we just factor x squared minus 1. And what is that? The factorization of x squared minus 1 is x minus 1 times x plus 1. What is the LCD of x plus 1, x minus 1, and x minus 1 times x plus 1? To get the LCD, you just copy the factors. You have x plus 1, x minus 1, and then if there is an exponent, let's say you have an exponent here, so you have x minus 1 and x minus 1 squared, you just copy the one with the higher exponent. So if this is the case, I will make this x minus 1 squared as well. Let me put it back to the original. There you go. That is the LCD. Second step is to multiply the whole equation by the LCD and we may now solve for x. Why do we want to multiply the whole equation by the LCD? So that we can get rid of the denominators. We do not want to work with equations which involve denominators. So that's why we multiply it by the LCD. I will multiply both sides by x minus 1, x plus 1. So therefore, this times this is going to be 2 times x minus 1 because x plus 1 here gets cancelled out. This times 1 over x minus 1, we are left with x plus 1 but don't forget that you have a minus here and I also have a parenthesis here do not forget because we need to subtract this whole thing to this term over here this is equal to this expression times this expression everything gets cancelled out so we get 2x on this side what kind of equation is this this is simply a linear equation so let me distribute this we get 2x minus 2 minus quantity x plus 1 it becomes minus x minus 1 is equal to 2x i have 2x on both sides so this gets cancelled out and therefore i am left with i will put the x on this side is equal to negative 2 minus 1 is equal to negative 3 for our last step, do not forget to check if the values that you obtained will not make the denominator 0. Since our x is negative 3, this will not make the denominators 0. If you have a denominator of x plus 3, that's the only case when you will have a denominator of 0. But in this case, we're good. Do not forget class to do this last step for rational equations checking because it's possible that you will get extraneous solutions, meaning to say you get values for x, but when you substitute it to the equation, it will not make the equation true. So be careful with that. Do not forget to check. Let's have an example here. 5 over x plus 3 over x equals 24. What is our first step? factor the denominators but they can no longer be factored what's next get the lcd what is the lcd here the lcd is x when we multiply x here x times 5 over x is 5 plus x times 3 over x is 3 this is equal to 24x we have 8 is equal to 24x. This is just a linear equation. Divide both sides by 24. So therefore, we get that x is equal to one third. 
don't forget to check. If x is equal to 1 third, the denominator is not equal to 0, so we're good. Our solution set is the set containing 1 third. Let's go to another example. We have 11 over 6x plus 1 is equal to 2 over x plus 1. First step, factor the denominators, but in this case, this can no longer be factored. And then we get the LCD. What is the LCD? They have nothing in common, so it's just the product 6x plus 1 times x plus 1. We now cancel 6x plus 1 here and x plus 1 here. Take note that I did this. I can cancel it this way because I have only one term inside your parenthesis here. There is no need to distribute. But if you have two or more terms here, do not do this. You have to do it from the top of your head or you can just use scratch paper. On the left hand side, I am left with 11 times x plus 1 is equal to 2 times 6x plus 1. This is just a linear equation. So therefore, let me just distribute. 11x plus 11 is equal to 12x plus 2. Let us now put all the x on this side. We have 12x minus 11x is equal to 11 minus 2. Therefore, we get that x is equal to 9. Do not forget our last step, which is to check that the denominator is not equal to 0. This is your original expression. Do not forget the last step, which is to check if it will not make the denominator 0. If x is equal to 9, we have 9 times 6, 54 plus 1. It's not equal to 0. If x is equal to 9, it's not going to be 0. So therefore, this is really your solution set. The set containing 9. If you have something of this form, it's just 1 fraction times 1 fraction, you can do your cross multiplication. This times this is equal to this times this you will end up with your 11 times x plus 1 is equal to 2 times 6x plus 1. This is the equation that we obtained earlier. But remember, this cross multiplication only works if you have one fraction equals another fraction. One fraction equals one fraction only. For our next example, we have this expression. What is our first step here? First, we have to factor the denominators. Only this one is factorable. There is a common factor of x. Factoring out x, we get x times x plus 3. The reason why we are factoring the denominator is so that we can get the LCD. What is the LCD here? Our LCD is just the product of x and x plus 3, correct? Those are the factors that you can see here. Multiplying this with 6 over x, x gets cancelled out. So we're left with 6 times x plus 3 minus this times this, x plus 3 gets cancelled out. So we're left with... 2x. Here there's only one term so I can do this. Cancel, cancel. We're left with 3 times x plus 5. This is just another linear equation so I will distribute. We have here 4x plus 18. 3x plus 15 on this side. So we'll put all the x on this side. We get that x is negative 3. But do not forget your last step. Check if it will not make your denominator equal to 0. Notice that when x is equal to negative 3, x plus 3 would be equal to 0. So therefore, we have no solution.
or you can also write this way. For our next example, we have this. Take note that we can factor x squared plus x minus 6. What is that? That is negative 6. That will add up to positive 1. What is that? We have x plus 3, x minus 2, right? What would now be the LCD? x minus 2, x plus 3, x plus 3, x minus 2. It is just this one. The LCD is x minus 2, x plus 3, x minus 2, x plus 3. Take note that there are toots. I will be left with x plus 3, correct? Plus this times this, x plus 3 gets cancelled out, so we're left with 3 times x minus 2. In this case, I only have one term, so I can cancel it here. Therefore, on the right-hand side, I only have 4. Again, another linear equation. So we have x plus 3 plus 3x minus 6 is equal to 4. The left-hand side is 4x minus 3 is equal to 4. So therefore, 4x is equal to 4 plus 3, which is 7. Divide both sides by 4. And therefore, x is equal to... You see, this will not make the denominator equal to 0. For our last example, we have this one. Again, we have to factor our denominators. This one has a common factor of 5. We have 2x over 5 times 2 minus x. However, I do not want to have 2 minus x. I always want to start with x. So I will write my 2 minus x as this one here is negative 5 times x minus 2, correct? I just put the negative in front. Let me now put that here. Also, I will put this negative here. So this is negative. And then for this one, this is no longer factorable. That's just 2x plus 1. Now, the reason why I started with this is so that when you factor this, I already have an idea that this one is actually 2x plus 1 times x minus 2. Right? Let us check. 2x squared minus 4x plus x, that's minus 3x minus 2. We are right. And then we can now get the LCD. What is the LCD? Our factors in the denominator are 2x plus 1 times x minus 2. What else? I also have a 5. So I have to put my 5 here. 5 times 2x plus 1, x minus 2. This times this, we cancel this, so we are left with 5 times 3 or 15. Minus, this times this is, we're left with 5 times x plus 1 times x minus 2 is equal to 5 gets cancelled out, x minus 2, x minus 2. We have negative 2x times 2x plus 1. What kind of equation is this? This is going to be quadratic because we will have x squared terms, right? Let me just simplify the left-hand side. 15 minus 5 times this is x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to negative 4x squared minus 2x. Let me distribute the 5. We get minus 5x squared plus 5x plus 10 is equal to negative 4x squared minus 2x. Let me further simplify this. I get negative 5. Equations. 
one side must be equal to zero. Let me put all the variables and the constants here. So I have 5x squared minus 4x squared minus 2x and then minus 5x minus 25 is equal to 0. Simplifying this, we get x squared minus 7x minus 25. Is this factorable? No. We use the quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Our negative b is 7 plus or minus square root of negative 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 25 all over 2 times 1. We get 7 plus or minus square root of 49 plus 100 all over 2. So hence, it's 7 plus or minus square root of 149 over 2. And therefore, these are your solutions.